Well, hey guys, it's time to do some fall mulching. So come on, let's get busy. Hey guys, Jeff here, Project Next. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this afternoon, I uh, want to do a little bit of mulching. Um, in past videos, you might have seen the last project we did was doing uh, fresh and fold up at my daughter's house. And I had a uh, pretty good size. Since I did the uh, enhancement to my dump bed trailer, uh, I had quite a bit of mulch left over. And it's just been setting under the shed out of the weather and uh, just waiting for me to get an opportunity to get that put down. So anyway, uh, this afternoon, I've got a few hours uh, before it gets dark. And so I thought uh, this one project, I would go ahead and get knocked out. I've got this one section that's up by uh, my driveway uh, and it is in desperate need of a good old facelift. So anyway, I'm gonna go grab the trailer, get it hooked up come over here and see if I can get at least this one section finished and uh, I'll try to do a cool reveal at the end and uh, we'll do some before and afters as well anyway let's get busy okay so one of the things I like to do when I'm redoing one if I'm dealing with uh, the edge of a sidewalk or working around the edge of asphalt I like to come in and kind of trench this and dig it down and pull it back and that way I've got a nice thick layer of fresh mulch right here on the edge. So this will be what I do first. So guys, as I'm coming around this last edge, I thought I would go over. I've, I've done this in one of the earlier videos uh, about doing the edging. And another thing is when you're doing up against this rock, you can do it with the rake if you want. But I kind of like to do this by hand just so I don't get it everywhere. And then I'll come back and even it up with the rake. And I especially like doing it with the hand over here just so I don't accidentally get all that in. And then when you're working around your shrubbery and stuff, you know, you pull everything back and then you build it up, up around it. Like so. And then the same thing here with this. And this has got thorns in it, so I'm going to use the rake so I don't get stabbed to death. <laughs> so anyway, just Pull this up and push this under. And I do the same thing here. All right, but now mainly getting what I wanted to go over with you guys is working your edge. I think, I know I've said this in other videos, but to me, this is the most important part that makes a mulching job look really good. And I know I stressed it before, but you just take your time and slowly build this stuff up and work on getting everything nice and even across the top. And once you push this back and get your, your border, get that established, then you just grab some mulch and then just keep building it up and getting it nice and thick. To me, on the edge, the thicker, the better. I think it's a really nice look. 
and boy does it help with weed control because when you're talking about instead of two inches thick um, when you're like four inches thick number one over time this is going to settle so right now it might be four inches but it'll eventually here with just some rain and normal every day it will compact and and pack and it'll settle so that's why i kind of like to overdo it with the thickness but then when you've got all of this material it's very hard for the grass and all to get penetrate and come up through all that so and besides that i think it looks really really good so anyway just work this out and guys i'm new kind of trying this helmet helmet cam I would appreciate if you guys would do a comment tell me what you think of me using the helmet cam i'm trying to hold my head as steady as i can so you guys don't get air sick <laughs> you guys okay <laughs> you sure you're okay all righty sorry about that All right, here we go again. Well, that was interesting. Anyway, I'm doing my best to uh, not hit the camera with the rake handle. <laughs> and I will uh, try my best to hold my head steady. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, new thing, just trying to give you guys different angles and a different perspective. I know when I was working on my last project with a utility building, um, working up on the roof, it was really hard to uh, keep my head real steady. So anyway, guys, please comment. Let me know what you think. But anyway, getting back to this, push, get a nice border, get it established, and then just keep bringing your product in and just keep slowly building it up to get it nice and thick on the edges. All right, guys, I hope that tech tip helps. Good luck with you guys landscaping projects. This is one thing I really enjoy doing because I just can't get over the difference if you look at how this looks compared to over here. That is just amazing, the difference. So anyway, it's very gratifying to come in and do the mulch freshen up. And you know, if you use the double ground dyed as I talked about in earlier videos this should last at least a couple years and I think it's pretty another thing that I'm really tickled to be able to have and work with is this dump trailer uh, as you know I had a video earlier about where I added my sidewalls which allowed me to carry a lot more product but I love the tilt bed function because you can see number one I can bring all of the product all the mulch right down here at waist level, this is easy to grab and get. I'm not straining my back. You know, I'm not having to reach hard for it. And it's a perfect height just over top of the wheelbarrow. Doesn't take me but a second to get a pretty good size load. And this is something new that I've uh, tried over the last few couple years is a two wheel wheelbarrow. I wasn't sure how I would like that in the beginning, but man, for doing mulch, this is the only way to go because the two wheels, it's so stable, you know, it's not trying to tip over as I'm loading it. So anyway, if you're ever gonna do much mulching, highly recommend, doesn't have to be a 14 footer, 10 foot small dump bed trailer. This just makes, makes it so much easier.
Well guys, the daylight is almost getting away from me, but I got it all finished and got accomplished what I wanted to do this afternoon. And as you saw, I did get the last bit of mulch I had finished out. And let me turn the camera around and show you the reveal. I think it turned out really nice. It looks so much better than it did. And so now this ought to be good for at least the next couple of years. And uh, I think it turned out really nice. Let me get around to the front side here. And as you can see, uh, I have the rock retaining wall, but we also have the river rock mix, which I think is a really nice contrast with the mulch. And when you got fresh mulch down, that river rock really pops. So uh, very tickled the way it turned out. So now I've just got <laughs> all of that to do. <laughs> it ain't never no end, isn't it? So anyway, well guys, thanks so much for tuning in. <clears throat> if you find these uh, videos beneficial, please consider liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends. Um, and as you know, with Project Next, there's always one more. So we'll be back again real soon with another video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys real soon.